In this video, we'll discover about how to sit for mindfulness practice. You can practice the art of being present whenever you want to and wherever you want. As earlier mentioned, there are no restrictions. Still, if you like to practice staying in the moment while sitting, there's nothing wrong with it. You can take advantage of the steps in this section to practice mindfulness in a sitting position. Get a seat. It's critical that you find somewhere comfortable and stable where you can sit that will give you the requisite balance to practice without distractions and interruptions. You can choose to sit on a park bench, cushion, or chair. What you choose doesn't matter. The most important thing is to find a spot that offers you a solid, stable seat that will not leave you hanging or perching. You can sit for approximately two minutes to test whether the sitting position will strain your back or not. If it fully supports your body without straining any part of your body, you're ready for the next step. Focus on your legs. The next stage is to observe what your legs are doing. If you are sitting on a cushion on the floor, cross your legs in front of you in such a way that you will feel comfortable. If you have been involved in some kind of seated yoga posture before now, you should find it easier. Just assume the position you have always been using before now. If you are sitting on a chair, it's recommended that the bottoms of your feet are in contact with the floor. If your legs aren't in a comfortable position, it will affect your concentration during the practice. Straighten your upper body. Once you feel that you're sitting comfortably and your legs in a stable position, straighten your upper body. Still, you have to do it in a way that won't stiffen it. Note that your spine has a natural curvature. Ensure that you retain it to avoid straining your back to avoid destabilizing yourself. Your body is designed in such a way that your head and shoulders won't have issues with resting comfortably on top of your vertebrae. Simply put your upper body in its natural position where it won't be under any pressure due to a wrong posture. Position your upper arms parallel to your upper body. It's crucial that your upper arms are parallel to your upper body to put you in a position that provides the perfect platform for practicing mindfulness. You can achieve this by letting your hands drop onto the top of your legs. Your hands will land in the right spot once your upper arms are at your sides. If your hands are too far forward, it will make you hunch, creating an uncomfortable feeling. If they are too far behind, it will affect your back. It will be stiff. What you're doing is more like tuning the strings of your body, so it's crucial that it's neither too tight nor too loose. Drop your chin a little. The next step is to let your gaze fall gently downward as you drop your chin a little. To get the best out of this position, let your eyelids drop lower than usual. Note that you don't have to close your eyes to practice mindfulness. However, lowering your eyelids completely might help you stay clear of distractions. You can use what you are looking at as a focal point rather than closing your eyes. You can even be staring without necessarily focusing on the object before you. Stand still. At this point, you need to relax and bring your attention to your breath. If you're not comfortable with using your breath as your focal point, you can use your body sensations instead or any other anchor that can make you most effective, such as phrases mentioned earlier. Stand still and retain your balance for some seconds. Be conscious of your breath. If you haven't chosen your breath as your focal point, follow it as it goes in and out through your nostrils. The emphasis of this practice is on exhalation. The inhalation is only a matter of taking a pause. Bring your awareness to the physical sensation you're getting as the air moves in and out of your nose or mind. Also, observe the rising and falling of your chest and belly. You can create a mental note of every sensation as you become engrossed in this activity. Gently return your attention when wandering. It's inevitable that your focus will start to drift to other things during the process. This is the same way other things compete for your attention in your day-to-day -day activities. So instead of judging yourself, learn from the process and use it to train your mind during the times you have the same experience. Instead of feeling bad about yourself, gently bring your attention to the anchor again. If it's your breath, watch it go in and out again as you have been doing before now. Don't pause immediately. There might be moments when you feel like taking a pause or making an adjustment after some minutes of practice. You might feel like scratching a part of your body. Still, don't lose control to your body. Plan when to take a pause to make the adjustment. This discipline will help you to train yourself to choose your actions. People that react to a situation without thinking about it are likely to make the wrong choices. So you should leverage the experience to build your emotional intelligence. You should dictate for your body and not the other way around. Observe and learn when necessary. If you observe that your mind keeps drifting away after bringing it back to what you're doing a number of times, you might need to stop fighting it. Instead, you can leverage the experience to understand your thought pattern. Observe the kind of things that are taking your focus away. Is it your bills or your relationships? Whatever it is shows that you need to work on your mind in that area of your life. You should make plans about how you can resolve an issue without being overwhelmed emotionally. 
Gently lift your gaze. At the end of the practice, lift your gaze or open your eyes if you have closed them. Take a moment to observe any sound in your surroundings. Observe how you feel right now. Also pay attention to your thoughts. Are they still drifting around? Are they negative? Has the practice been worth it? Your answer to these questions will affect your motivation to practice the next time. Review the success of the day and make plans about how you'll practice the next day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.